So, I've just been feeling white lately. I've been feeling white lately. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ages How You Wear It. This will be my last unboxing for 2022. <laughs> never the last unboxing. You will never, ever heard me say that. <laughs> oh, y'all sick of me? Are you sick of me? Because I've been showing you some stuff. Wait till next year, okay? I don't care if I'm going to the Starbucks, you going with me. But anyway, last unboxing, guys. And really, truly, this is not even the last stuff that's coming in. It's just that I want to get this video already posted. So it will be the last unboxing you will see. Everything else you will see during a video. So I have one, two, three. I have four pair of shoes. So let's start with the shoes. So, let's go ahead and unbox these shoes. We're going to get right into it because you know I don't like to keep you, right? All right. So first, it's two pairs of Zara. So they come in their Zara pouch. I waited for these to go on sale because I wanted, these are the last two colors that I need. So you know how you check your wardrobe and you look at your shoes, you look at your bags, you look at your clothes. And, and the thing is, when you clean it out, if you consistently rotate, and I consistently rotate, if you do that, you will see, wait, is some things missing? Even though you think you got an abundance, it's always something to shop for. Trust me. Pink. So I was looking for a pair of pink heels. And you know I'm going to put it here or here. I don't know where. I've been looking for a pair of pink heels that I did not want to pay a lot of money for, but fit and look nice on the feet. And I can wear them to work. That is what's important to me now. You got your home outfits. You got your leisure wear that you wear on the weekends. And then you need things that you can wear to work, which is majority of your time. Right? Unless you still have the privilege of working from home. Kudos to you. So these Zara pink ones. I already took the tags and everything off to make it easier. These look so good on my feet. They look so good and they fit so well. So I got these in a size 8. And these can go spring, summer, winter, all around shoes. Absolutely all around. Next, I got them in blue. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I got them in royal blue. Honey. Honey. These two shoes and a with a pop of, as your pop of color? As your pop of color? Come on now. You can't beat this as your pop of color. Wait till I style this. Of course you're going to see it. So those are the two shoes from Zara. And... <laughs> These are from Saks All Fifth. They are the DKNY. Y'all remember these? I ain't seen a pair. I ain't bought nothing from this brand in forever. But I wanted some pure white bedroom shoes for when I travel. Not to wear around the house. Not for now. Not to wear outside looking ghetto. To wear when I am on vacation. So when you're on vacation, you want to you want to walk around with everything more, you know, more extra fancy, sweet. So I wanted some fresh white slippers to wear. And of course, they have the uh sole at the bottom where if you want to walk uh down to get breakfast, if you want to if you're cruising like me and you want to walk, like I said, to get breakfast and 
you still want to look chic and cute, but you ain't trying to dress up to go eat breakfast. I bought them specifically to travel. They feel so good. And I know they're going to get... Well, the only thing that'll get them dirty is if I bump into something, spill something like that. Because, honey, my feet is never dirty. They don't touch the ground. Next. <laughs> Y'all know I have a problem with Converse. You know me and Converse got a thing going on. You already know that. I got the pure white. The pure white. And they look like a boot. And that's why I wanted them. So, you know, I have plenty of Converse. If you watch my videos, I have plenty of Converse. I wanted the tough sole, pure white. So when I wear something, a cute little suit or something, I want to put on some pure white tennis shoes to go with it. You don't always want heels on. So I got me a pair of pure white Converse. I'm telling you, my color of winter and spring is going to be white. It's going to be, of course, you know, it's going to be color. But I don't do a lot of white, and I want to start doing that. So, I've just been feeling white lately. I've been feeling white lately. Okay. So, that's it for the shoes. What y'all been watching? You know I'm going to talk about something. Um, There's been nothing at the movies I wanted to go see so far. And I know it's avatars out there. It's three hours and... And I'm thinking, when I watched the first Avatar, was it? And, you know, it was pretty long. It was pretty long, but I didn't go to movies to see it. So, the thing is, do I want to sit there for three hours? So, that's the only thing that's been making me like, eh, I don't know. Yes, I do sometimes get fast fashion. Yep. But my fast fashion don't go fast. I get things that I know I can wear over and over again, not for a particular trend. Now, if you want to try a trend and you don't want to spend a lot of money, please, by all means, get you some fast fashion, honey, before you spend thousands or hundreds of dollars on something. Look at this. Y'all know I got a thing with um, turtlenecks and stuff, too. I have one on my shin with my orange, bringing my orange out. I even put a little orange eyeshadow. Y'all, I'm not messing with y'all today. I'm not messing with y'all today. So look at this blue. You know what got it, right? You know what got me thinking about blue. Now the thing is, your blue doesn't have to match and match. This with a pair of jeans and these, mm -hmm. or this, and a pair of jeans in these. Look at these beautiful colors. It's the blue, the aqua, the dark blue. This is... I even look cute in this. With this orange. Grandma ain't playing with y'all. So I got that. And believe it or not, I got ties. I know you're saying what? What do you mean ties? I got ties. Men's ties? Because I want to wear men's ties with things, but I don't know how to tie a tie. So she and got the ones that you just put around your neck and then you can make it tighter, looser, and that way you can have a tie on without having to do the tie. So I got it in red because I figured red would bring out a lot of things. And I have it in black because black goes with everything. You know, the more I look at it, I, I look so top heavy. And believe it or not, see how I look bigger and, and I'm not that as big as I be seeming on camera. But that's okay. I don't care. Because this is cute. Um, Then I got it in black. 
So I got red and black. So you'll see me styling those up, especially this winter. Then I got this dress. I, I saw it and I was like, ooh, I like that. And it reminds me of something Gucci. So it's tan and look at the colors at the bottom. And it's got, um, it look like pockets, but it's not. It's just a belt uh, as pockets. And then the tan go and the color goes down. Imagine me on vacation with this, with a cute pair of sandals, or with my chunky orange heels, platform heels, and wearing it to work. And here I go again with my orange earrings, once again. <laughs> so I like this. It looks kind of big. I don't know. It's a large. I get everything in Shein and large. Butterra, butterra. I don't know. I might have to belt it. But it's cute. Okay, what else do I have? Okay, you know I always showcase a black-owned business. If you notice, I'd be doing that. But not just a black-owned business. That's just, you know, giving props where props is due. But any small business. So, this brand here is called, I think it's called Re, Re Me. Ride Me or Rhyme I? I don't know. R I M I. Here's their Instagram. Sometimes you forget to put the people's Instagram. And that's not a good thing, but I don't redo the video. That's too much. I will put the Instagram here. Look at the packaging. It comes in this velvet pouch with their emblem from head to toe. So let me see the, uh, let me get my glasses. Where are my glasses at? It says, thank you for your order. As a small token of appreciation, use code SAVE10 for 10% off your next purchase. Oh, thank you. I wanted to support and I wanted to try something because you know I like to, okay, how do I get in here, honey? You know I like to try things and um, see if I will purchase something because they got a black, skirt and a long black skirt and a uh, cropped uh, blazer set. I'm going to put it here if I can find it. I want that. But that look pricey. Ooh. Okay, look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at these colors. Look. Feathers. And you know I love feathers. Look at this. And this is a shirt, but... Mm, I'm going to have to wear this as a dress. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This being worn as a dress. Absolutely. And look at the back. This is what I fell in love with. Look at the back. So you can ruch it in like a corset, but in the back to make the front look slimmer. I got this in a, probably large, yep. Cause I don't know how things gonna fit. And I don't like returning stuff. And you know, I'll put something in, a, get something in a large in a minute and then belt it or ruch it or pin it. Whatever I got to do, honey, to make it fit me. Oh, so nice. You know, I love it when I got something and it works out really good. All right, last thing. See, I told you I wasn't going to keep y'all. I told y'all that. All right. I got, you know I shop secondhand all the time for my luxury. You know, if I want to get it full price, I will. But I try to get everything I can possibly get if I want something luxury. Secondhand, consignment, it don't matter to me. 
it don't matter to me as long as I get it at a discounted price. I love Louave. But I can't bust out a thousand dollars for a shirt. I can't do it. I, I I don't even know if I had money if I could do it. That that shirt must be it, it's gonna be worn hundred and fifty two thousand times if I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars on a single item. Look at this Louave men's Louave shirt. One hundred percent. It's real. It's not fake. Um, there is the Louave tag. Let me see if you can see it. Focus. Focus, darling. Let me see. Why won't focus? Is it focusing? Oh, because it want to focus on me. Hopefully that's focused. All right. So this is the look. You see the Lueve tag. And it has Lueve on the shirt itself. Look at these gold and brown colors with that splash of green. And of course, it's a men's shirt. But baby, I will wear it as a dress and put me some shorts on under it. And grandma will rock this. So you will see me style this. You know, I'm thinking about styling it with my tan uh, knee-high boots. You know, the brown ones. Um, they look like vinyl. Yeah. I'm thinking about that. Let's see if you see that. Okay, guys. That is it. Oh, I'm going to be so sad. I'm not going to see you till next year. <laughs> Okay, so I will be going to Virginia uh, for Christmas. I will be there for a couple of days. So I will film that. You will see it on the next video in January. You will see, I will film as much as I can because I never film me going back home, film my grandbabies. I never do that. So I am going to try. They keep grandma busy. Do you understand me? But I will try. You ready for the scripture, guys? Let's get to it. Listen, um, you know grandma don't have no edges. Okay, let me talk about that. So I don't have no edges and my hair is very thin. So I have no edges and that came from years of uh, abuse of braids that they were uh, taking my absolute follicles out and I know it's people up here that went through that in the 2000s early 2000s of going to braid shops that were destroying our hair but that's neither here or there um and I'm not gonna take no kind of medicine I'm not going I don't care enough for that as long as my hair now is healthy I'm not putting a lot of chemicals in my body to grow something because it someone else might find it offensive i'm not doing it this little bald thin head will keep going but i learned how to make me some edges it i mean like i ain't trying to do no um you know how people take almost their whole bang and make baby hair i'm not trying to do all that first i'm too grown for all that but i do want to at least not look so conspicuous and do it that it makes me look good and feel good for myself not for anybody else so i made some edges and i do it with uh some black edge stuff i did do a video of it but i really didn't go into detail like i should and how i do it but if anybody who comes across my page would like for me to do a video showing how i darken and make my edges please leave the request below and i would do it okay you ready? Let's go. All right. This is the day. So this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118 verse 24. So what is it all about? Well, what's coming guys? Winter. 
So in Florida, in Florida, in Florida, winter to me is fall. Winter is fall. Now I'm going to go home to Virginia and my daughter sent a screenshot that it was 35 degrees. I look forward to it. But anyway, when winter is fully upon us, it is not a warm. When winter is fully upon us, it is not as warm outside and there's not as much life in nature. If you live where winter is cold, you may be growing tired of boots, hats, scars, well, maybe not scars, and puppy and puffy, shapeless coats. Honey, who's doing that? You know how many coats is shaped? How many coats you can get that has a shape? How many puffers you can get that look cute? You don't have to know, you no longer have to look a mess in winter. Looking outside, there may not be much to feel particularly joyful about. The truth is God made today and he made it with you in mind. As you go into your day today, either with excitement or dread, encourage yourself that this is a day purposed by the Lord for you. Make the most of it. So even in the harshest time in the winter, you should be grateful to be alive. To be able to feel the cold on your face, honey. The blood in your veins. Bundle up. So every day is a grateful day. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Happy holidays and happy new year. Bye, guys.